what do you have to say to people that, that feel that your mini lectures are inherently racist or that this channel is promotes a reverse code of racism? Some people I see in the comments, they're saying, real black? What about real white? You guys are racist. Anyone who knows me, anyone who knows the founder of real black, they would know that's no basis in truth. My attempt to an analyze what I see is not to point fingers at anyone. The tragedy is that some people, particularly people of color, they're seen as being exceptionally good, generally bad. People who make up the so-called majority of the society it's quite the opposite. They're exceptionally bad and generally good. All people are the same. If I'm saying this, then how can it be racist? If I was nationalistic, I would be about the white man is the devil. You'll never hear me say that. If I examine film, and I tell you what's, what I see is wrong with it, there are patterns, there are practices that continue to project and present negative images that hurt people. That's what I'm pointing out. If you go to the doctor and the doctor says, you have signs of cancer, are you going to say that the doctor is a cancerous? No, the doctor is only pointing out what he sees is wrong. And you hope the doctor has a solution to correct that. In uh, analyzing what we see is wrong with the media, it's not to point fingers at anyone other than to say, this is something that you need to be more concerned and more sensitive about because the way you're showing it, it's harmful to women. It's harmful to people of color. It's harmful to whoever we're saying is being harmed by the imagery. That's explanation. That's analysis. That's all that is. Anytime you talk about race, People want to say you're racist. That's crazy. That's why we're not getting anywhere. That's why it's always the elephant in the room. But when we're willing to talk and discuss things, to debate it honestly, then we have a way of coming up with solutions. Rudolf Giuliani, he labeled the Black Lives Matter as being inherently racist. And then Donald Trump repeated those words. Black Lives Matter, inherently racist. And I said, oh my goodness. Rudolph Giuliani, of all people, is going to say what's racist? I'm from New York. When he was mayor, the police force I had to deal with the police force. And they had a sense that they could do anything when he was the, the mayor. There were some police at that time, he was the mayor, when they did something horribly to a man named Abner Luima, some of the police were heard to say, it's Giuliani time, where he set the tone for how they were to conduct themselves in black communities. Now here's what I want to get across. I'll ask you this, Rudolph Giuliani, for you to say black lives matter is inherently racist, when you were asked about the Confederate flag 
I didn't hear you say that was inherently racist. Your response to that was that it was a state issue and people had to, on a state level, resolve that matter. How can you not see the Confederate flag as being inherently racist? That's my question to you. It's amazing how some of these politicians can say they're not politically correct. But when they say they're not politically correct, they make sure that if they say something, they don't mind insulting people of color. But the others, they won't. They'll make sure that, that they're not insulting. For example, when they wanted to say the health care system was worse than slavery and, and, and a black man had the audacity to say this and say he wasn't being politically correct. Mr. Ben Carson, how come you didn't equate the health care system to the Holocaust? That was a terrible ordeal. Why'd you pick on slavery? The same way you have uh, a Giuliani pick on Black Lives Matter? Because you don't mind picking on people of color and speaking to your base. But I'll tell you what I think is inherently racist and no one is willing to touch on this. In this so-called pluralistic society, in this society that's supposed to be Judeo-Christian, tell me where is the support for the image of a Christ that has a depiction that has no basis in the reality of how Christ should look. In fact, in this society, the Jewishness of Jesus Christ has been erased. Address that because the image that we get of Christ, that's inherently racist. I say if we want to be pluralistic, there should be many images of Christ in all colors or no image of Christ at all because there's nothing to support how Christ looked. Deal with that, Mr. Giuliani, and anyone else of your ilk. That's all I have to say. And thank you, Real Black, for allowing me to get that off my chest. Yeah, but we, we like to be solution based. So, I mean, what, what, I mean, these politicians, they're, they're, they're speaking, like you said, in dog whistle terms to bring their base together. What do we need to do to counter all this nonsense? To be solution based, to really be pluralistic, to really be a melting pot. We need a society to be in practice what it says it is in creed. We need a society that promotes the image of all people having value and not just continuously promoting images where some people are more dehumanized and debased than others. We need a system that shows people of all races and colors being equal. That can happen. That's the power film has. And that's the aim and objective. All people of a progressive, humanistic nature and spirit should be about. That's what we need to aim for. The one night. It's the biggest television audience in the world. It's the Oscars. Where do you think that name came from? 
Hmm? Their brother, Oscar Michelle. When you watch movies, you may get some militancy, some so-called blackness, but overall what you're going to get green lighted and the gatekeepers are going to let come through are those motion pictures which perpetuate the status quo.